guys, it's Cuddle of Death here, yay, hey, happy day, woo! And I am obviously back on Elena's channel and just commentating a battle for you guys between Elena and Unbeaten Glyscore69, also known as Zavi. I'm sure that his channel will be linked in the description below, so make sure to check out his channel. Let's see how this battle goes. This is gonna be great. And uh, I am super excited for this because I actually don't really know what's gonna happen. Actually, I tried commentating this a while ago and I can't remember what went down. I had so many fails. But who cares about that? Let's get this battle started and see what happens. We are going to start off with our nice little opening. And Zavi sends out Navi, so everyone, hey, listen. Everyone better remember that. If you don't remember what that is from, you probably didn't have a childhood. So anyways, Elena starts off with Lawrence Zapdos against Navi. Lawrence goes for the U-turn to do a super effective hit. However, because Navi is very tanky, he took that, or she took that hit like a boss, rather, you know, freaking Yuxi doesn't have a gender, but you know what, Navi's a she, and Elena goes into Seth the big freaking Snorlax, he looks all snuggly and all that good stuff. So Navi is gonna restore some HP using leftovers, and I believe, yeah, it goes for reflect, so that's gonna up the nice physical defense. So obviously Navi is just going to become more tanky against physical hits. I don't know why Elena went for the pursuit there. I don't know if she predicted a swap, a switch, or not, but regardless, barely did any damage now that that nice little reflect is up. Even though pursuit is super effective, unfortunately for Elena, Zavi didn't swap. However, Elena does go ahead and swap into Emma, which is her Espeon, and Navi, being the little tankster that he or she is, goes for a light screen. now having boosted defense and special defense because of the ridiculous walls that it's got up. So Emma goes for a Calm Mind to raise special attack and special defense, which is rather nice, and is going to get hit by a Shadow Ball, which is a ghost-type move for people that don't, you know, know too much. I'm sure you probably already knew that, though. So it's super effective against Emma, and Emma gets that special defense drop, which is in Navi's favor, however it is in, not in Emma's favor. He's a cute little Espeon. I don't even know why I added that. I don't know, I just like Espeon, and I have just been everywhere lately, so if I'm a little bit off, a little bit loopy, don't freak out. Everything's okay. Anyways, Emma is going to go for another Calm Mind, getting that nice special attack boost, special defense up again. If that Shadow Ball reduces special defense, and Emma is just extremely unlucky. Fortunately for Emma, her special defense does not drop this time from Shadow Ball. She continues to restore HP from her leftovers, as does freaking Navi. And Navi is back to full HP. What is Emma going to do? How much damage will Emma do with this Shadow Ball after two Calm Minds? Hopefully a decent amount. That was actually a pretty decent amount considering the walls being up and only two Calm Minds have been used. However, Emma is going to get shit. <laughs> going to get shit. <laughs> going to get hit. <laughs> with another shadow ball. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Anyways, Savvy decides to recall Navi. Emma goes for a calm mind, you know, to start building more special attack and special defense up. However, Drapion can actually do a fair amount of damage as he is a high attacking Pokemon. So we'll see what's about to happen. The light screen wears off, which means Reflect. Did that already wear off? I swear that was cast before that. It probably wore off while I was laughing, so Reflect is probably down now. Emma goes for a Shadow Ball, obviously not very effective. However, Tox Claw, the Drapion goes for a Night Slash. Let's see if it crits. Even if it doesn't, it should still do a decent amount. And it actually takes Emma out, which is unfortunate for Elena. So now, poor little Espeon is out. I wonder if she's going to swap into Seth or another Pokemon. Toxclaw is also running leftovers, which is uh, very common. However, Elena goes ahead and swaps back into Lawrence. I wonder if she's going to U-turn. or I didn't think so, obviously, because it wouldn't do that much damage. However, she goes for a Thunderbolt, which should do a fair amount of damage because Drapion is actually dead. So yeah, it did more than just a fair amount. It did enough to take out Drapion. Now Zavi's gonna go into his Mr. Mo, which is a cute little lawnmower, and I love Rotom so much. I just love all of his forms. You guys might hate him, but I, I don't know. I think he's funny. So now Elena swaps back into Seth, who should actually be able to take this hit pretty well, even though Rotom can actually do a fair amount of damage. And it, it yeah, did about as much as I thought. 
Okay, so Zavi decides to swap into Holy Water, which is a Jellicent, which makes Seth's return do absolutely nothing since Jellicent is obviously part ghost. So Elena's like, oh god, what do I do? And she goes into her Ashley, which is her semi Uh Holy Water goes for a Toxic. Doesn't seem like Holy Water to me, then it seems like Corrupted Holy Water. Or just... just It's not Holy Water. If if Holy Water poisons, there's it's tainted Holy Water. Anyways, Ashley goes for a Grass Nut, which actually did a fair amount of damage considering how tanky that Jellicent seems to be. And if I'm saying something wrong, I am so sorry. I'm not like a super competitive battler as much as I would like to be. Holy Water does a fair amount of damage to Ashley. Ashley has a Pattaya Berry, which is raising her special attack, which would definitely not be in favor for Zavi's team right now. However, Ashley does have that poison on her. It needs to pull off something really fast and take out that Jealous, and otherwise this could be very problematic for Elena. So hopefully that will happen right about now. No, it does not. I didn't expect it to do that. So it looks like Ashley is going to fall to the tainted holy water. <laughs> now that Ashley is down, Elena has her Snorlax, Lawrence, and a few other Pokemon left. Um, this is actually going to be interesting to see what she pulls out. Oh yeah. So now we're back into Lawrence, and because Holy Water's HP is so low, it's probably best just to sacrifice the little Jellicent. Nope! Instead, Zabby decides to go ahead and swap and go back into Mr. Mo. What is Lawrence gonna do? Lawrence is gonna go for the Thunderbolt, which isn't really gonna do a crap ton of damage to Mr. Mo, because, you know, same type. And you know what? That's okay. However, we are going to swap back into Seth, predicting, you know, a move that's probably not going to do that much damage. Probably a uh, Hidden Power. Okay. I actually don't know what Hidden Power this is, so maybe Seth can take it like a boss. He took a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Zabby decides to swap out his freaking lawnmower and go back into Holy Water, which, let's see if Elena predicted the switch. Not necessarily, but you know what? That's better than using a return because at least you did some damage. Ooh. That would be funny if she got the burn. Nope, no burn. No burn on the holy water, on the tainted holy water. Holy water stays in there for another turn. And goes for the recover, which is actually something I can't believe I didn't think about that. I should have known better. Known that that tainted holy water can actually recover and become a little bit more evil than it already is. So Seth goes for the fire punch again. You know, obviously not very effective. Maybe we'll get the burn on holy water and make it, you know, set it on fire. Then it'll really be tainted and messed up and I don't know. It always reminds me of the Pringles, man. It's like a big old mustache on that jealous. I know I'm, I'm going off topic back and forth, but you know what? I'm having a good time, and I hope that you guys are too. Lawrence is back out on the field once again. Holy Water, the evil Holy Water goes for a Scald. And let's see if he actually gets the burn on Lawrence. Oh, he did. So there is another evil play by that evil tainted Holy Water that we see with the mustache in front of us. Lawrence is going to need to pull off some really nice stuff here really fast. And if Elena has hopes of winning, this is actually... Ooh. Zavi makes a nice little switch back into Mr. Mo. However, I believe Elena predicted that. And so she goes for the heat wave and does a fair amount of damage and takes Mr. Mo out. Mr. Mo is down. Rest in peace, Mr. Mo. You will be missed. And uh, you will probably be replaced by a John Deere or something else. But anyways... Holy Water is coming back out on the field, and I'm pretty sure Lawrence outspeeds this Jellicent, but Elena decides to go ahead and recall him and go into Seth, predicting, you know, a little bit of damage. Probably a Scald. Yep, it is a Scald, and it would be kind of bad for Seth if he got burned. And it doesn't appear he did not get burned, so... A little bit of faith has been restored in Elena's team. Can Seth pull off anything in this particular particular matchup. He once again did not get burned, which is favorable. Goes for the pursuit. And Jellicent's a bit tanky. However, that is super effective against him. And Seth is able to do a decent amount of damage to Jellicent with just the pursuit. And definitely would have killed it if Zabby would have swapped, but he did not swap. So, our tainted evil Holy Water goes for a Scald, and it looks like Seth is actually going to take out Holy Water this time. So, finally... Mustache, evil, holy water, whatever you want to just call him. He has been causing so many problems in this match. Has fallen and now Savvy comes out with Buzz Buzz, which is the Yon Mega. 
who is going to use Bug Buzz, which is a coincidental. He looks very, very mean, takes out Seth, which leaves Elena down yet another Pokemon, gets the speed boost, which is something that happens after every turn for people that aren't aware of that. Elena goes into Isabel, which I do see a lot in her battles, which is her nice little Haxorus. I keep saying nice little this, nice little that. To tell you the truth, I have just, I don't know, I've been everywhere lately, like I've said. So, Isabel goes for an Outrage. It's probably still going to do a decent amount of damage to this Yuxi, which is Navi, even though Navi is still rather tanky. Haxorus is very, very strong, as you guys probably already know. Isabel did do a decent amount of damage. It looks like Navi is actually going to fall this particular time. And now it looks like Elena has the advantage over Zavi. And it is really late. I almost yawned everywhere. So Isabel is already confused. Doesn't have the berry on it that gets rid of confusion. And now Zavi goes back into Bug Buzz. Elena decides to go ahead and swap out into Lawrence. I don't know how this is going to work out. I actually don't too, know too much about Yon Nega, however it did get rid of that confusion on Isabel, which might just be exactly what Elena needs to win. Lawrence has barely any HP left and <laughs> is almost dead now. I'm pretty sure Buzz Buzz is faster because of the speed boost that he's been getting and Lawrence is probably just a death fodder. Yep, it appears that I was correct in saying that. You guys probably already knew that though. So Lawrence is now down, and Elena has Isabel to take out Buzz Buzz, perhaps. I don't see why Isabel couldn't, but maybe I'm wrong. We're about to see here in just a second. So Isabel is breaking the mold with Mold Breaker. I'm just saying unnecessary stuff to fill in the gaps because, I don't know. Buzz Buzz goes for- Ooh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Ooh. If you do not get a crit or anything, if you do not do enough damage, it looks like this battle is more than likely over. That speed boost is crazy, and wow! Look at how close this is. Obviously, Buzz Buzz is faster and is going to be able to wipe out Isabel, and I actually believe that that's Elena's last Pokemon. So, Isabel is down. I think that was Elena's last Pokemon. I might be wrong. We'll have to see, but that was incredible. Nope, Ryan is still here. And Ryan is a, oh, a Ry Rhyperior. So, Zavi still has extra Pokemon too. See, I don't actually remember how many Pokemon have been sent out yet. Give me a break, it's late. He has a Rapidash. Ryan goes for a Stone Edge. And I know Rhyperior can actually do a fair amount of damage. Is it going to take out Ashley? It does. So, I actually think now Elena is going to be able to pull this off. Which is really freaking nice. Because that actually could have went either way earlier. So... It looks like Buzz Buzz is back out, and I do believe that this is actually Zavi's final Pokemon. I think that, wow, if that takes out Ryan, if that takes out, wow, what an ending, you guys. So Elena has lost to Zavi. That was a fantastic battle. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button and, you know, comment down below. Make sure to check out... Unbeaten Glyce score 69 or Zavi's channel which should be linked in the description. My channel will be linked in the description as well. I love you guys so much and uh, thank you guys for, thank you actually to Elena for letting me be on this video. Bye!